you know, when we talk to uh, many doctors about cancer, one of the points of view is that cancer is actually trying to protect the body from uh, something, either toxins or whatever, that's trying to, to seal them up instead of, uh, you know, a lot of people think a bunch of rogue cells going all over and just taking over the body. What do you think? You know, I think that may um, have some element of truth to it from a purely biochemical kind of physiological level. Um, the challenge is that 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 once a tu once a tumor is imageable, it's about the size of my thumb, and that represents over a billion cells. And these cells have learned how essentially evolved to to a place in which they can evade our immune recognition. So our immune system literally can't see them and react to them. Mm -hmm. These cells have gained the characteristics to generate chemicals which allow them to further invade into tissue and to grow blood vessels and spread somewhere else. So they've gained characteristics by the time they're measurable that make them very unruly. They're like a bunch of adolescents in a really nice house. And yes, those adolescents might be protecting something, but by the time you get a group of them there, all bets are off and they're going to behave in a very destructive manner. And it, cancer, in my experience, never plays nice. And it will, if left unchecked, in most cases, ultimately kill its host. Mm. So um, would I ever feel comfortable just kind of trying to make peace with a tumor? No. Um, that being said, I think that there are many of my patients who are doing really well are engaged in very active therapies on an integrative spectrum, so conventional and natural. And at the same time, and from a more spiritual perspective, have really made peace with the tumor and sort of their meditations and their uh, kind of personal, you know, outlook and, and really tried to understand it from an energetic perspective in a more holistic sense. And I think that's actually a really important part of deep healing. Mm -hmm. But that can exist at the same time that you're trying to remove and eradicate the physical tumor, you know. So mm -hmm. those two things, I think, need to happen.